So we brought our Grand Cherokee, our WK2 Grand Cherokee, it's 2013 in. There's a recall on the fuel pump, so have that done. And they commented that my thermostat was leaking. And uh, so this coolant line here goes up here to the thermostat, thermostat housing. And you can see there, it's uh, it's got a bit of pink. And down there, it's got a bit of pink. So it's been leaking a little bit of coolant. So we're going to uh, change it out. Now, I was going to get a original one. I usually I do that, but uh, the cost of them here in Australia was, I think it was about four, almost $400 for a small part. So Amazon, I went. This one in particular had really good uh, reviews. It's a metal replacement, so the, the plastic obviously getting brittle now and, and a lot of this is starting to crack, replacing with metal parts. So uh, yeah, but uh, good, you know, just went by the reviews. So there's a couple that have like none. This one had a couple hundred, so uh, I'll, uh, I went with that one. Uh, I don't know if it's the same temperature. It says on here, if that focuses, it says on there, there you go, see 88 degrees Celsius, this one opens. Um, but we do, I am, I got palm trees and I'm not in Florida, uh, I'm in Australia, so it's pretty warm here. So I don't mind if it opens at a lower temperature to, uh, to get things moving here because we don't really get cold. Okay, cool. So what are we going to do? We'll get some tools and we'll get stuck into it. How do I know how to do that stuff? I got some manuals from emanualonline.com and yeah, I, you can go through how to do it. So they've given me a product code, which is cool. Uh, it's 22% off. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to share that one with you guys, but might as well, because, hey, save some money. So I'll put the code on the screen. It's eddie22, 22% off your e-manuals from emanualsonline.com, and they make just working on cars so much easier. So highly recommend them. Tools you're going to need, you're going to need some channel lock pliers to do the... Uh clamp uh you're gonna need some if it's cold i'm uh, sorry if, it, if the motor's a bit hot don't have it hot just have it cold uh you're gonna get some coolant spilling so some guys put a plastic bag over the pipe not me uh eight mil socket and a 10 mil socket is what you're gonna need to uh to get this done and um and of course the thermostat now i'll put a link to i'll put a link to some tools in the description but i'll put a link importantly of the uh, thermostat housing that we're using so you can get one for yourself because uh, it'll save you a bit of money and if it you know you can have a look and see how it fits okay here we go uh, these little guys are held in place by a 10 mil on this bracket here and all this stuff is barely in here so it's really really loose we'll get that loosened off Okay, put that aside, put it in my pocket. Now we got some room to kind of move these guys a little bit out of the way. Just change over to the eight mil. Now we got one that's a bit down, down there, a bit tricky, and I don't want to drop it. I think we'll shoot between the two here. Is that gonna be the best? Probably get a wobble socket on here to be the best actually. No, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna get my wobble socket and that's gonna be a lot straighter. Okay, got the wobble socket. That should be a little easier, is it? No, that's not the issue. Well, yeah, uh, maybe. No, not really. They're just kind of covered, both of these. Okay, I'm just going to leave it kind of attached because so I got to pull this hose off first. It's blocked. There's a metal bracket there for something, and it's just kind of blocking access to that bolt. That sucks. I might go in with a little 8 mil box wrench. Do it that way. Okay, 8 mil ratchety box wrench. Let's see. Is that going to be better? Or is that going to be worse? I can get that in there. 
Get in from below, maybe. You know what I'll do? I'm gonna pull that up, pull that out of the way. Channel locks for these dreaded hose clamps. I can hate these things. We go back. Now you might get a bit of a spill here, but clean up your mess after if you made a mess. Yep, there's a little bit coming out. Shouldn't be too much because I said this car is cold. Boop. Boop. There we go. Now, don't want that to spill. So I'm going to hunt down a plastic bag. Hard to find these days, plastic bags, but I'll see if I can get one. Okay, so add a little plastic. This is plastic sandwich bag to your list of parts, tools, whatever you're going to need for this. Now, that's on there. And then pull that hose clamp back up. Okay, took the hose clamp off, bag on, there we go, sealed. Now, uh, there we go, we got a bit more room to work in there. So, can we get that box wrench in there? We can at least get it in this way. And do one little turn at a time, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. I thought the problem was that little bracket, but no, it's actually this metal hard line here. So I'm just gonna kind of bend it a little bit. But I think we got a, uh, there's another 10 mil on here underneath. I'm gonna undo that and that should give me the room to move it. Okay, there we go. Let's move this off. So that is a 10 mil nut. I don't want to drop any of these. And that should be able to, be able to get that off of there. Maybe. Now there's some give in there. Should be able to get that in there. Come on. Just don't want to round it off. metal line just does not this little bracket does not want to stay it's not going to move come on there we go is that maybe enough clearance oh i lose my plastic clip Okay, there we go. Got that up and out of the way. This can now move. There we go. Got it with the socket push that until we got some clearance. Now, 
think it's really tight. Nope, slowly, a little bit turn, 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 turn with the fingertips. Okay, getting to the end. It's got more play in it. Okay, even getting it in there, that little bracket is kind of in the way, so we'll put that one in first, I think, when we go to reassemble. Because it's contacting there. Okay, we'll get this one out. Okay, put that one aside. This one's ready to go. I'm just gonna hold it. I'm gonna pop this the thermostat off. I should just, it's not in there, so. Trying to keep my finger on that bolt so we don't lose it. Okay, now I don't know what else is holding this in. I'm gonna look around from this other side. Okay, got the bolt, woohoo, and there we go. Oh yeah, that's why we're leaking. Look how crusty that O-ring is. That O-ring was like 60 bucks from my Jeep, it's crazy. Anyway, the new one has a uh, has one on it already. How do I know how to do that stuff? I got some manuals from emanualonline.com and yeah, I, you can go through how to do it. So they've given me a product code, which is cool. Uh, it's 22% off. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to share that one with you guys, but might as well, because, hey, save some money. So I'll put the code on the screen. It's eddie22, 22 22% off your e-manuals from emanualsonline.com, and they make just working on cars so much easier. So highly recommend them. Before we go putting the new one in, we better clean up all this leaky old coolant. Otherwise, we're not going to get a good seal if you're going to use that little screwdriver I had and I'll scrape it down. Yeah, definitely gonna scrape that down a bit. Little flathead screwdriver, gently. This is, uh, I don't know if this is, I think it's an alloy chunk here, so we don't want to gouge it up, we just want to remove, see all that crusty old coolant so we get a good seal with our new thermostat and our good, our new o-ring. So this in here, this groove should be kind of cleared out a bit. Okay, much better. Now, we're going to put this guy back in. A little bit of coolant on that O-ring. And I'm going to get that first bolt started in here because that was, didn't want to, didn't want to go. And both of those are the same length, so no need to worry about if you've got them back around the wrong way. I'm going to try to put this in here first without the bolt. I don't want to twist it around too much, just want to push it down so that it seats.
does its seat. Okay, there's the O-ring. No, that's not clean enough. All right, we're going to keep cleaning. Now, I'm going to ask you for a favor. It's not a big one, but to justify me doing these car videos to the missus, can you please just like the video? I mean, you don't need to subscribe. That's fine. But if you found it useful, remotely entertaining, just somewhat interesting, just hit the like button, and I can justify my existence and my time and money spent on toys to the missus. That's it. Now, back to the show. Okay, O-ring in place. Oop, popped out. That's all right. Come on. There we go. Get that flush fit, I hope. Is it flush fitting? No, it's not. I'm going to keep the O-ring on the thermostat. So I've seen it done before. Look at that, there you go. Is that flush all the way around? I'm gonna crank it down. This one sucks to get started. Just gonna get that one to just touch, and then I'm gonna tighten the other one up here. Okay, now final tighten up. Okay, now that feels flush all the way around. So I'm hoping that's nice and seated. I don't know what this will be there. Okay, the only thing we can do really is plug it in and start it up, see if it leaks. So channel locks. Go in position, clamp in good in position. Exactly where it was before. Okay. Now I got some little brackets to put back on this little one here. That's it, now we'll start it up and see if it leaks. All right, so we let it run for a bit, nothing leaking. So uh, that's good, we'll call that a success. Saved a bit of money, uh, going in to get some coolant, top up, and then yeah, I think I'll be replacing that coolant tank soon, sooner rather than later, which is uh, probably next on the list of things to do.